Sorry to keep you waiting, but I've been up to my ears. It's all right. Bring Mr. Marsh a minute, and not too sweet and straight up, thank you. Thank you. You. you can't imagine all the details you have to take care of when you're merging. New furniture, new stationery. I mean, it's practically like a whole new life. Listen, Reynolds, are you sure we're doing the right thing, my moving into your offices? Look, Marsh, uh, I've done a lot of thinking. And, well, I'm going to be blunt. The merger is off. Just like that? Please. Marsh, let's, let's, let's not have a scene. Yeah, but I, I told everybody we're merging. My vice president, my secretary, the washroom attendant. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you expect me to face people? Well, tell them it was your decision. Tell them, tell them you turned me down. They don't have to know the truth. But I'll know the truth. What do I say to myself during those still small hours of the night when I'm all alone? That my company wasn't good enough to merge? It's not that way, Marsh. It's, it's just that, well, we're not right for each other. <laughs> but it seems so right. Consolidated soup and amalgamated nuts. <laughs> it just was so right. Well, it did on paper. On paper, it's an ideal merger, but there are other things besides paper. <laughs> Reynolds, please, I know we can make a You're go of it. You're making it very difficult. I'm making it difficult. Please, Marsh, people are beginning to stare. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Reynolds. There's another company, isn't there? <laughs> I knew it. It's Simpkins, isn't it? How did you know? You think I'm blind? <laughs> Don't you think I noticed his annual report lying innocently on your desk? Or heard the rumors about a certain nuts tycoon seen lunching with the Bolts executive? <laughs> as far as those little weekend yacht trips together, they're common knowledge. You're making it sound so cheap. <laughs> All right, Reynolds. What does General Bolts have that I don't have? Nothing. Nothing. You've got a perfect company. No, no, no. Come on, tell me. I can take the truth. What is it? What's wrong? Is it my price-earnings ratio? No, no. It's nothing like that. Look, Marsh, I know how you feel. <laughs> but you'll get over it. There'll be another company. <laughs> but it won't be the same. <laughs> What's the matter now? Listen. I don't hear anything. That's so like you. It's the song they were playing the night you proposed our merger. Don't you remember? We were up in the rainbow room. City spread out before us like a carpet of lights. And through your cigar smoke, you looked me straight in the eye and said, let's merge. <laughs> I said, yes. <laughs> Evidently, I said it too quickly. You must have thought I was easy. <laughs> Never. Never. Oh, come on. Don't fool me. I've heard the talk. Marsh is going bankrupt. He's an easy merger. I never thought of you that way, Marsh. No. No. I've always... I've always respected your company. <laughs> what did Hayworth tell you about my company? Nothing. Nothing. I never discussed your company with Hayworth. <clears throat> Why? What was there to tell? Nothing. <laughs> oh, uh, I know this is rough on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, but it hasn't been easy for me. Sneaking around to these secret meeting places. Using assumed names. Well, you're the one that didn't want the Justice Department to know. I know, I know. Look, can we let just bygones be bygones? All right, so we don't merge. We can still do business together, can we? What kind of a company do you think I run? Well, I didn't mean it that way. Mm. No, of course you didn't. Look, we did make some deals. Yes, but only because you promised we'd merge. 
If I'd known it was going to turn out this way, I would have never let you into my... corporate bonds. You wanted that as much as I did. I know. But I gave you something I never gave anyone else. My debentures. I know. And I... And I respect you for it. Well, then why? Why? Please, Marsh, let's not spoil it. Me? I'm not spoiling it. You are. Well, let me tell you something. I'll tell you the truth. I never really cared for your company. You're not the only pebble on the big board. I'll tell you something else. All the while we were discussing merger, I was making deals with other companies. Please, Marsh, don't. Yeah, I spoke to a lot of companies. <laughs> IFNW, AT&C, JR of r and JNR, no. Yes, JNR. I made lots of deals with him. Cheap, tawdry little deals. And we know, you know what I let him do? <laughs> I let him handle my stock options. Stop it, Marsh. I know you're not like that. Do you really? Yes, yes. So please don't... Don't cheapen what we had. Because I don't want it to end this way. I want to remember the way it really was. I want to remember the good times. All right. All right. You want me to have my chauffeur drive you home? No, I'd rather be alone. Well, goodbye. Paul. Goodbye, Arnold. <laughs> Hello, Simpkins. I waited ten minutes. I'm sorry. It wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. What wasn't? Well, I told you about it last night, how I'd get rid of Marsh so I could be free to talk to you when I'm mm. free. I'm free. Well, look, Reynolds, I've given it a lot of thought. The merger is off. <laughs> Just like that. 